Hi everyone, just before we get into this video, uh, you're gonna notice there is no subtitles to it. I haven't found someone just yet to do those subtitles. So this video it was put through to me before I had confirmed someone to do the subtitles and I wanna make sure that the next video of subtitles has the, the best subtitles. So this video won't have them. I will put out a video once I've found someone, hopefully over the within the next next day and yeah i will still include an english transcript if you want to translate it yourself or suggest trans subtitles but yeah just being honest there's no subs here sorry i just want to get them done better okay thank you very much and um thank you for your continued support on the page i really appreciate it on youtube and billy billy and if I haven't responded to your comments that you've put on the Jay Chow video yet, I, I will. It's just been a really busy time and I'm processing everything, but it'll be okay. We'll, we'll get it all sorted. Thank you. Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews, where today I'm going to be reviewing a track called uh, Memories of Jing Zhao by Li Zhi. This is a review that I'm doing for Daniel Ching 374 so I'm very excited to listen to more Li Zhi as I actually quite enjoyed what I've heard of them so far. It's been so nice to hear more of these kind of artists. Um, I don't speak the language natively but we'll go through the lyrics at the end so I can kind of get more of a feel for the song. I've had feedback that people prefer it when I do the song and then the lyrics to understand the message of it so we'll do it like that. Switching over to here, we've got a music video for it. We're gonna Watch it from start to finish, and we're gonna hear what we think. It's a live performance, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm loving the drum fill coming in there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Very atmospheric, immediately. Luscious lead to that guitar solo. And the keys are... There's a gorgeous texture to those more kind of pads that are going in the background. Some violining going on with the volume pedal or the volume knob on the guitar. The percussionist is phenomenal. That's such cool creative use of those different inputs in this track. I've got a lot of time for that. Oh, he's using a different type of drum set. Oh no, there is a kick. Oh, is that like a different percussionist? Is there someone on the left side using these instruments? Like these, 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 these parts, and then is there someone else on a drum kit as well? Ah, oh, there is two, cool. I understand now. That's dope. Wow, there's actually a full band on there. There's a lot of people involved. I resolved da da bomb and then bomb being the root note, the key of the song. It's great that he's flying back into that naturally. It's a very kind of safe vocal melody. I've got a lot of love for how that's being done. And repeating that melodic sequence there, the note structure. And we've got that additional layer of the lead guitar on top, doing an arpeggio.
It's nice to have these backing vocalists sing this part of the chorus. I'm not sure if that's in the original recorded version or not, but I think that's really cool. It's a nice change in the um, the the harmonic emphasis of the track. It's very soft. I'm really looking forward to understanding what the lyrics are about. Like, it, I'm not entirely sure what this, again, I, I know I'm repeating myself now. It's, he's really comfortable in the, the bottom part of that vocal range, isn't he? Like, he seems like he's having a good time. No, not maybe, like, maybe the song isn't about fun, happy stuff, but what I mean is, is that he's comfortable, like, he's he's within his chest voice, he's not having to overexert himself. Overexert? Yeah, I suppose that's technically a word. What a gentle finish. Oh, interlude time? Oh, the shimmer shammers, the chimes, right? Poignant little bass line there. Is he playing? Oh, no, he's not playing a fretless. Rolling with those major triads on the piano. Oh, extended. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is that like a Locrian or something like that? I like them a lot. Oh. Oh, that's solo. rolling with that blues groove at the end and back into that i know we're going double time now and this is very exciting just how much presence did that guitar have am i right this is so cool You know, having that dun 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 one and two and three and four and one and two. You you had a quarter note groove in the previous choruses, and speeding it up to an eighth like this, I think, gives it a lot more energy, a lot more charisma. I think that's a really fun addition to this last outro chorus. Again, very. I think like what helps keep the the chorus is sounding fresh is that we're adding additional elements every time we do it like with those extra ride hits on the drum kit i think also the amount of color and the overall harmony means that the vocalist can keep repeating that that lead melody without it becoming stale <laughs> He's bringing the mic backwards and forwards. That's cool. That's that's really cool. I should probably also mention for people watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm not including subtitles in this song, this video, because I'm currently looking at hiring someone to do the subtitles. I want to make sure that what they're doing is of a really good quality before I start reincorporating my subtitles into this song. Because I want to make sure that people are happy with the subtitles. And I have been warned by people that those other ones I was putting into videos weren't that great. And so I didn't, I, I don't know. I just didn't think the channel would get this big 
on YouTube or even Billy Billy, and it blows my mind that people have been so supportive. I know a lot of people weren't too happy, but like, well, we're probably disappointed with the subtitles, but I'm, I'm going to fix that. So I'll put a message at the start just so people know that there is no subtitles, okay? But there will be subtitles. And like future videos once I find someone and that that'll be happening today I think after I record this I'm doing some tests so we'll see how it goes. Thank you to everyone who's also offered to help me with the subtitles. Um, I'm currently processing the insane amount of messages that have come through about that and I will there's like a thousand literally a thousand for me to read. Um, it's crazy dude. And big instrumental chorus at the end. Hey, I'm loving how much fun people are having on stage. The singer's kind of grooving there. Um, like, forgive my ignorance, and I could be wrong here. Um, I'm wondering what kind of drums those are on the left side of the stage. Now those ones, no, no, the big drums. I know, like, he's got some toms and some snares and stuff like that, but I'm wondering, there's bigger ones. They kind of remind me of Taiko drums. Uh, but I could be completely wrong. That was Li Ji, though, Memories of Jing Zhao. We're gonna have a look at the lyrics now. Uh, which we've got here. I own, I know only a little about Jing Zhao. Came there once in my life, because this does sound like a song which is sort of nostalgic for how things were in Jing Zhao. They've moved away from there, or they have heard about it a few times. Passed the city several times on the train, thinking of here quietly. She said she liked the winter sunshine of Jing Zhao, the smell of the warm stove flight above the uh, fl flight around the alley. So there is sort of a romanticism around this place. Missed around her young neck, not drifting away to this day. So she's kind of like a mystical human being to him. It's like a memory that he holds dear to her that isn't going away no matter how far she is, you know. About Jing Zhao, I only miss you. Regret and bad feelings in my mind. So was this like a love interest that he found in Jing Zhao and it's about kind of how things didn't work out? About Jing Zhao, I only think of it occasionally. Remember the smell of her. Oh no, sorry, I, I skipped this, didn't I? Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. So sorry, I skipped this one. Um, this one here. About Jing Zhao, I only love you. Cannot get the meaning of love in my heart. Oh, yeah, it sounds like um, Li Ji. Um, you know, like this, the story here is, is a rough one because sometimes you just have love that doesn't connect, you know. You don't end up being able to have that special relationship with someone. I know that incredibly well. I've known people over the years who I've passed and there's been chemistry, but you just, it just doesn't work out. About Jing Zhao, I only think of it occasionally. I remember the smell of her in my memory. So this woman that he's talking about is firmly the thing that anchors him within that memory of Jing Zhao. Uh, every time talk about my past journey with my friends, I'm afraid to mention my travel to there. About Jing Zhao, I only miss you. Life is just pain and beauty. So this is more about the fact that for him, it's just incredibly painful to talk about the town with people because what happens is whenever he sort of talks about it, he remembers her. About Jing Zhao, I only love you. We have nowhere to go when love ends. It's incredibly rough, really. This situation sounds terrible. I'm really sorry to hear that he went through this. I say that a lot, but a lot of the music is not particularly positive. But it, I think this is sort of a more bittersweet song. It's like it happened. I'm 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 happy for the memory, like. But I'm, it's also painful. It's a very bittersweet kind of thing. About Jing Zhao, I only love you. We have nowhere to go when love ends. Everything is suspicious. Or nothing is to be afraid. Everything is good. Or no one cares about others. Oh, so these are like direct contradictions. The situation is just there or, you know, there, there's black or white or gray areas. Time changes everything or nothing. Let me hug you again, Jing Zhao. 
or to be Zheng Zhao here, Zhang Weiwei is the singer's best friend. Okay. Well, that was a fan. That's a beautiful story. I think that it's very authentic. I think that the performance. Thank you for supplying the lyrics, by the way, Daniel Ching. I, I Ching, I really appreciate that. I I really enjoyed this song. I enjoyed the softer side of Lee Ji's vocal style, especially his later vocal performances, that they tend to get a little bit more visceral. And while I don't mind that at all, I understand the content is a bit more sort of like it's aggressive or like there's a frustration behind it. The way that he sings reflects the content of the lyrics well and seems very sort of um, synchronized and uh, it's great. It's 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 fun. It's fun. it's not it's a nice song to listen to. You know, six minutes is a long time for a song nowadays, but I get the impression that I didn't really I never zoned out. There was enough in there to keep me interested throughout. It was a slow build. You know, it was a slow build until that halfway point. And then you had that drop and then you had that really crazy guitar solo, which I enjoyed. And then it came in, to be able to fit two percussionists, you know, these guitars and bass and the vocals and backing tracks and keys and all that into a composition. Leji are incredibly adept as musicians, as performers. You can tell the people at the concert are having a really great time. This is a fantastic example of ticking all the boxes, you know, well done to everyone involved. This is effectively my review of Li Ji's memories of Jing Zhao. I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that terribly. I don't I don't mean to. I don't mean to pronounce it badly. I, I'm trying to get better with the language as I go. So yep, no major instrumental issues. The live sound engineering mixing and mastering was spot on. And this has turned into a 20 minute review. Uh, so I haven't really got a lot of much else to say. Hopefully I've managed to communicate myself fairly efficiently within this video. Thank you for watching this review, as well as Daniel Ching 374 for this uh, for, for this suggestion for the song. Really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to go and check out more of Li Ji's material, as they're an they're a fantastic act. Um, stay cool and stay safe, and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As any of the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch your next review. Spider hands up.